Oh gamma, so another retro package has turned up, so let's check it out. Now don't forget, if you're using the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those gaming products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Our right, gamers, today's 2023, and we've got another retro game box pickup. So let's jump in and see what it is. Right, so we've got quite a bit to unpack today. This is all just wrapped in cardboard and a bit of bubble wrap. There is quite a variety of a retro pickup here. So let's jump in, see what we've got, and let me know if you've got any gems. So first up, we've picked up some joysticks. Now these joysticks are quite rare. These are made by Epics. Now, if you haven't heard of Epics, Epics were a game company back in the late 70s, early 80s, and ran up to 1993. They made games such as Blue Lightning, Summer Games, Barbarian for the ST, and just made some amazing products and some amazing games. Now, I bought these for the Atari 8-bit. I always wanted them back in the day. My mate had a pair, never had any. These came up in the lot and just thought, that looks like a great lot. I'll pick these up. Well, so now we've got two more Atari controllers. These came out with the 7800. These were fantastic controllers. So I broke loads of these in the 80s using the joystick to move just to play decathlon and run and swim on that game. I wanted these again for the 8-bit. I love the fact that you've got both the buttons on the side and just the control you get with the old 7800 controllers. So sticking with the 8-bit, we've picked up some games. BMX Simulator, we've got Ghostbusters. This is all for the 8-bit Atari. We've got Smash It, Atari Smash It Volume 1. I think there's about six volumes on this. And this came with an abundance of games on there. So you can get this on disc or you could get it on tape back in the day. I had it on tape from what I can remember and I have replaced it. This has had a lot of wear by the looks of it, but there's some great games on there and hopefully these will load off the tape cassette. Next, this was a fantastic game back in the 80s, Rescue on Fractalus. This was one game that scared the life out of me when I wasn't expecting it. Basically, you had to land on the planet and rescue pilots that had been left there. The biggest thing was, you didn't know if that was pilot was gonna be an alien and what would happen all of a sudden, it would jump up in front of the screen and it would scare you. For a game of the 80s, this was a fantastic simulator and awesome game to play. Right, so sticking with the Atari 8-bit again, we've got some more 8-bit stuff in here, so let's have a look what it is. We've got some Atari 8-bit cartridges. We've got the original Frogger for the Atari 8-bit. We've got Battlezone, which was first released on the Atari VCS system back in the 70s. But this played pretty well on the Atari 8-bit from what I can remember. Defender, I thought it was a great version of Defender. I love playing Defender at home compared to putting 10 pence and 20 pence in an arcade machine. Next, we've got Mountain King. I don't know much about this game. Next, we've got Frogger 2. And one of my all-time favorites is Jace. Now, well, Jace was released on the ST as well. And there has been a port of the ST version that moved across to the Atari Jaguar, which I have downloaded and I will be playing that soon. Right, so I've saved the best till last and I've picked up a lot of Atari Jaguar games. First up, we've got skiing and snowboarding on the Atari Jag. We've got Ultra Vortec. Again, this comes in a nice case as well. Really looking forward to playing this game on the Jag. Next up, we've picked up White Men Can't Jump, and this came as a package with the Team Tap as well, so you could play four players on this. So this means to be an awesome basketball game. We've got really good reviews back in the day, and it was just something I wanted to check out on the Jag. So next up, we've got Wolfenstein 3D. So this is new in box, it's done pretty well with that. Brand new in box, looks really good. Looks in great condition. A bit like Doom, bit of a first person shooter from the 90s. Next we've got Zoop, which is a bit of a puzzle game. So I'll be checking that out as well. Never played Zoop, never even heard of it until, up until now. If you like any of these games, make sure you comment down below which ones I should dive into first. So this is a reboot from the ST. Transported to the Jag, we've got Zenon Mega Blast. Now this looks like an awesome shooting game. It had a lot of reviews on it. It's meant to be really good on the Jag, so I thought I'd check this out as well. Next we've got NBA Jam. This looks like a pretty awesome game as well. It's another basketball game that I wanted to dive into, and it is quite rare to pick up this one. Right, so you should like this one. This one is what I was on about in the previous video. I did want a memory track and I managed to pick one up for the Jag. The CD games I wanted to play, I'm gonna be able to dive into these. Syndicate is another game I wanted to check out. I think it'd be fantastic on the Jag and nice to check it out. 
finally, probably the best platform game you could get on the Atari Jaguar was Zool 2. I did have this and I left it back in the UK and it got lost. So I have re-picked this up again to play on the Jag. Absolutely love this game. The gameplay on this was a fantastic game and it's really good on two player mode. And what better way to check out that Atari Jaguar memory track than to buy some CD games. So here we've got Hover Strike, I think this is a second edition, so it's Undiscovered Lands on CD. Sealed in box, so that should be pretty good. We've got Mist. Now the version of Mist I've got was a little bit crushed in box, so that, I think that's the only issue it's got going with it. Hopefully the game works and loads off the CD drive. And a lot of people enjoyed this back in the 90s. And finally, we've got Baldi's New in box. And it's a bit of a platform game for what I know. It's probably a bit like Lemmings as well. So it'd be good to jump into this on the Jag. Right, so see we've got a massive haul. We've got some Atari CD games. We've got the old 8-bit controllers. So for the 7800, absolutely love those controllers back in the day. The Epics ones I always wanted and never got. We've got White Men Can't Jump and the Team Tap. We've even got the memory track to play these CD games. And nine Atari Jaguar cartridge games, including White Men Can't Jump. Some 8-bit Atari cassette games and some cartridges as well. Let me know in the comments down below if it was a pretty good haul. If I've got some great gems in there, I think I have. And uh, which ones are to dive into first. Now, if those into your retro game, I mean, make sure you check out when I picked up my Atari 130XE in this video and check out when I picked up my Atari Jaguar in this video. So thanks for watching, happy gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one.